Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Thursday the 7th of March 2024. I hope you are keeping well, enjoying yourself, whatever you are doing right now or or in the round, round about this time anyway. Um, I'm hit sitting here with my cat Joni on my lap. He's had a pretty good night's sleep and he's still kind of a bit sleepy now. Um, but he's looking nice and cute, <laughs> so let's hope he manages to sit cutely for the remainder of the game. Uh, some sad news uh, in music. Um, Jim Beard has died. Jim Beard was the recent keyboardist with uh, Steely Dan. Steely Dan, one of my all-time favorite groups, a group that I listen to so much of the time. They normally hit my Spotify top of the year kind of thing every year, uh, even though... Um, of course, uh, Walter Becker already died uh, some time ago. Um, Jim Beard didn't join the group in the kind of big years, in the years when they had their most famous hits like Asia and stuff like that. And you know, he joined after that time. But, um, you know, Steely Dan did take to touring. Uh, you know, Steely Dan has a kind of weird history. They were originally a, you know, a, 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 a huge group of uh, um, performers, um, including uh, Michael McDonald. Uh, uh, and uh, various people, uh, and they they performed live uh, for a while, and then suddenly, the two main founders, um, Donald Fagan and Walter Becker, decided, no, we want to be a studio group. Let's never tour again. And they did. They left and became a studio only group, and employed so many of the world's best studio musicians, jazz players and fusion players, of course, mostly. Um, and their albums have remained incredibly successful up until today. Uh, but then uh, later on, they decided to... Uh, Donald Fagan, who really didn't like um, to play live much, decided to come out of his shell a bit and decided to go touring. They they went touring. And even after um, Walter Becker died, the group has still been touring with its uh, most recent lineup, but um, which has included Jim Beard for... Since I think it's the late 2000s so like 2008 or 9 or something like that i think it was um and he's been a stalwart of the group and uh, put in a lot of contributions unfortunately he's died and so uh, we will miss him okay let's get on with the game of sudoku shall we this is the guardian's first hard level puzzle of the week we've got nine blocking across here across here and down here which will put a nine into that square there, that's how I'm going to begin today. We've also got nines going up to the top here and across these two rows. So there we are with a sweet nine. Uh, we can see twos, well I can see twos blocking across here, I guess you can too. And there's a two blocking there. And something we do know, although I don't know if it's going to be useful, is that six blocks here and here. So these two squares are blocked by six and eight also blocks that. So we're going to get eight and six down here. So what does it mean? Uh, well, first of all, it means this is going to be five and nine, which we can't get. But also eights going up there will give us eights up there. How about the sixes? Uh, no, not much joy on those yet. Oh well, just a thought. Um, shall we not dilly dally any further? Let's, um, Go through the digits one by one and see if we can find something reasonably substantial. Uh, so I'm going to highlight some things that I know just to help me a bit. Hmm. So we know quite a lot about ones, but <laughs> not enough.
And we know quite a lot about twos as well. Uh, again, though, not quite enough. But I'll try to remember these things. You may just be detecting the sound of a monk chanting in the background. I can hear it. You probably can't. The microphone is probably not that sensitive, but and also pointing in the wrong direction. But I hear. I think my neighbour has a radio on. Uh, there's some kind of religious broadcast. It's not a special Buddhist holiday or anything like that today. Ah, there we get something. Seven up, seven down. There we are. And seven like this across there. Sorry for the extended silence. I am just going through, obviously, bit by bit, trying to find the next easy number. And so now we have 6 and 8 blocking up here. We do know, in fact, that these numbers are 6 and 8. And I already said 6 and 8 were down there before. Um, so 6 and 8. So now we're looking for 2 and 4. So now we know 4 is in one of those squares there, blo blocking down, 4 blocking down here. And we can say there has to be a 4 there. Uh, we know this is uh, 6 and 8. So here we're looking for 1 and something. So when the 1 blocks across there, that will give us the 1 there. And the something is not 6 or 8, so it must be a 5. Uh, now we know this is 5 and 9. So this has to be 1 and something, so 1 blocking up there, there's the 1, something is the 3. Okay, we've done a little bit now. Um, I may have found, oh no, I was about to say I may have found a 5, but I don't believe I have. I have found a 1, we've got 1 blocking here, 1 blocking here, 1 blocking here, so in this column there's our 1. Uh, 
I'm, I'm hearing very strange sounds in the background, but anyway. Um, hmm. Where's the next move? I think I'm going to go through the digits again. I don't have any completed digits just yet. I'm obviously not rushing this morning. This is the first day I haven't had to go like crazy because of some uh, stuff I have to attend to. No, no, no. I can be fairly relaxed today. I just have a lunch appointment and uh, some possible work in the evening, but nothing much to do in the daytime. So that's pretty good. And the cat doesn't have to go back to the hospital until Saturday and then again next Wednesday for his um, his uh, next major treatment where he has to be knocked out again Oh, I was right. I did see something. I, th I, I, I thought I didn't see it, but I did. Okay, so what do we know? Okay, in this section here, we have five in those squares. Five eliminates this square here and obviously blocks up here, right, like this. So that means five is there or there. That means in this block here, five can only be in one of these two squares here. Don't know which one, but it's one. When we consider the fives blocking across here and here, we know that fives are there or there. So what do we know here? So we know fives are in those squares and those squares. So since we consider, if we consider this right-hand shoot, because we've got left hand, left row and middle row, uh, left column, right, sorry, and middle column, we know that up here five can only exist in the right hand column and we've already got a convenient five blocking this square i thought i'd saw, i saw that and then i just saw oh no i made a mistake i was actually right the first time okay so now we have five blocking this square and five blocking this square so in this column that must be a five now we have three blocking here so that gives us a three here and a four we'll finish there four going across here and four up here means that this is a four and the last number two place here I have now forgotten, but apparently it's a two. And uh, that was okay, that was good. Nice little bit of movement, for forward movement there. And what's coming next? Uh, still haven't got any completed digits though. So let's just keep at it as whacking through one by one. Uh, we'll go a little bit faster now though, I think. There we are, threes across here and down there. It'll give us three in that square. Okay, I thought I must have something there, but um, I, know, I mean, I must have something there, but I don't know what it is yet. Okay, I see now we have eight blocking this square and eight blocking this square. So in that column, there's our eight. Eight blocking across here gives us the eight. And if you remember, this was eight, six. So six is now in that square. Six blocking down here puts six into either here or here. So upwards we go, six up there. There's our six. And six across here puts six into one of these two squares blocking across, which means that's our six. And our eight goes there. 
we need an 8 to finish this row here we have 8 down here and 8 across there which means that's an 8 and there's only one number to go here which I think is a 4 <coughs> now our 3 blocking down here puts 3 into this square here 3 across this way that way there's our 3 surely we can get the final digit 3 now where are we yes there that's where it is right okay four blocks across here like this that puts a four into that square four down here four across there will give us four there and four across and across means there's a four four up means we finish up the fours there one more number to go here two i think you are we also have two blocking across here so two in that square two blocking up here puts two there two across two up goodbye two the last number to place here is a seven seven across here and here so that's a seven that's the last seven as well down here we just need five i think voice sounds a bit croaky shouldn't be at this time in the morning uh, missing number here is six six blocks across here that gives us six in that square and six down here means this is a six the missing number here now is eight I think and so eight across here will give us eight there and not much more to go now and we need a one here and one blocking down gives us the one there this is a five five blocks across there there's a five five back that way there's a five nine will go here and there and that's the end of the guardian hard level puzzle i rather enjoyed that i uh, don't know if i'm still sleepy or what but anyway anyway the cat's oh cat's dreaming <laughs> you know when animals dream you can see their, their eyes you've got the rapid eye movement and in this case his whiskers are twitching backwards and forwards too oh so cute okay take care bye bye